All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna um, go ahead and calculate our joint load, or actually we're gonna draw out our joint load diagram. All right, and our joint load diagram is important because we need it for um, some of the matrices we use later on um, in this example, okay? So our joint load diagram, basically it consists of elements, all the elements in the structure, in this case, one, two, and three, and all the loadings on those elements and then we treat each of those elements as a fixed end beam and we draw the end reactions that go that um, create the loading so I'll explain that uh, once I draw elements 1, 2, and finally you have 3 and elements let me actually draw, this is element 1, this is element 2, this is element 3, okay? Element 1 has a, distribute, a uniformly distributed load here, and that is 9 kip per foot. Element 2 has a point load right here in the middle, and that is 20 kips. And then finally, element 3 has a uniformly distributed load here, nine kips per foot and we um, actually you know what let me I'm gonna copy this diagram because we'll need it for our internal uh, reaction internal reaction diagram uh, later on in the video or later on in the example so we come back to this this is our joint load diagram joint load joint load diagram and we look at element one, we treat this as a fixed end beam, and we uh, calculate the uh, reactions at the end of this beam that go, uh, that go in the direction of the loading, or that cause the bending of this diagram. In other words, we have nine kip per foot, and remember element one was 10 feet, so we have 90 kips uh, acting down on this element, so we're gonna draw the vertical reactions going down since load is going down and since we have 90 kip per foot here uh, that means we get 45 kips on both sides right 45 kips on both sides and then our moment is going to be in the direction of the bending that way this way this is what causes this bending and if you calculate the fixed end moments for both of these moments uh, you'll get 75 kip foot and then 75 kip foot here. We move on to element two. We assume this is a, oops, it should be in um, white. We assume this is a fixed end beam and we draw our reactions at the end um, according to the direction of the loading. Loading, so 20 kip is going down. That means we have 20 kip or we have 10 kips on both sides going down. 10 kips both sides going down. We have a moment going this way because that's what's causing this bending. Uh, so if we calculate the fixed end moments um, on both sides, we'll get uh, 30 kip foot, kip foot, and then 30 kip foot here. And then for element three, uh, we get, again, it's the same as element one. So we have uh, uh, two reactions going down uh, 45 kips, 45 kips, and then we have a uh, bending moment here, 75 kip foot, and then 75 kip foot, all right? Now, that's our joint load diagram. I'm gonna do the um, internal reaction diagram really quick, internal reaction diagram really quick. Here we calculate, we pretend again uh, these elements are fixed end beams and this time we're going to calculate the reactions just as we would if this was just a statics problem so internal reactions we just calculate the end shears and end moments so we have 90 kips going down on element one that means we have 45 kips going up on the left 45 kips going up on the right uh, we have a resistant uh, resisting moments um, on both sides, resistant moment on both sides. And those are 75 kip foot, 75 kip foot. Here we have 20 kips going down. That means we have 
uh, 10 kips going up on the left, 10 kips going up on the right. And then we have a resisting moment here of 30 kip foot, a resisting moment here of 30 kip foot. So these are just the internal reactions happening on the end um, of each of these members, right? And then again, we assume this is a fixed end beam, both all three of them. And element three has um, element three is actually the same as element one, right? So you have 45 kips going up. Oops, not kip feet. Uh, just kip. And then you have 45. Ooh, my pen isn't drawing right. 45 kips going up on the right. And then again, you have a resisting moment here of 75 kip foot, and a resisting moment here of 75 kip. All right, so this is the joint load diagram um, and the internal reaction diagram. Um, in the next video, we're actually going to calculate the joint load diagram. I'm sorry, the joint load matrix and the in, uh, fixed member matrix. Uh, the, we use uh, the joint load diagram to calculate the joint load matrix, and we use the internal reaction diagram to calculate the FM or the fixed member. Uh, fixed member or fixed moment uh, matrix. Alright, so see you in that video.